the future to come in 20 to 30 years? Can it be predicted in the times of global uncertainty? How to map out the contours of the future so that they are more clear and bright? And what can be done by those who are today called the next generation? In today's program, Absal Mutabek, the new name in the national art. Beauty in Kazakh. I'm a simple craftsman and I'm devoted to this profession for the rest of my life. I want to recreate jewelry that Kazakhs wore in ancient times. People forgot about them today. Of course, new trends will be taken into account. A 27-year-old jeweler and designer Abzal Moldabek belongs to a dynasty of craftsmen in folk arts and crafts. He has 40 patents for the creation of ornaments in the national style. He shares his knowledge and skills with the younger generation. I was born in the small village of Karashilik, Aksu district, Almaty region. I am from an ordinary family. My parents taught me, first of all, to be human, and they want to meet their expectations. In general, this craft was owned by my ancestors, both from my father's side and from my mother's side. I think that their skills were passed on to me through my genes. Our family has six children, four sons and two daughters. We are all engaged in the common activity. There were several ways when choosing a career. At first I dreamt of becoming a journalist, then I wanted to go to sports. But still, the craving for creativity turned out to be stronger. My older brother was a jeweler. Once I went into his workshop, I was literally fascinated by what I saw. Thus, I began to be interested in this art. In the village, I had a small room that I used as a workshop. There I painted and created. Once I made keychains, not thinking at all that it could become my source of income. I just made them and presented them to my sister and mom. At that time, it was fashionable to carry such keychains on the phone. Then I made small souvenirs from wood, dombra and kobus. I also used this as a gift to the teachers at school. And then the boys and girls from the neighboring villages saw what I was doing and began to ask for all kinds of products. For example, they asked me to write a phone brand or a gift, or just the word mom, or the girl's name for the Women's Day holiday on March 8. I used the money I earned to buy tests for exams for the 10th or 11th grades as my classmates spent their parents' money on it. Uh, When I seriously started doing this business, first of all, I made bracelets with mom and dear mom inscriptions. It's clear to whom I dedicated my debut works. These bracelets were in high demand. I was recognized by these products. By the way, I also had a work that I presented to my mother, the necklace, mother and a child. When I made the bracelet, I worked in my brother's workshop. 
At that time, I did not have my own equipment. I made a bracelet using my brother's tools. Six months later, I moved to the city to open my own workshop. First time, it was difficult. For a couple of years, I only worked to buy tools. I opened my workshop only three years ago. Initially, I adhered to the principle to work only with high-quality materials and only with natural stones, because working with natural and pure materials gives a person a special inspiration and creates a unique feeling. The chemical composition of silver itself is beneficial to human health. Our ancestors said that if a woman does not have silver jewelry on her hands, that she's not able to cook clean, tasty food. Silver is the embodiment of metal that absorbs bad energy. I want to create modern products based on jewelry worn by Kazakhs in ancient times. For example, talismans need to be made in a new way today. For example, talismans of our ancestors who lived in the west of Kazakhstan are too heavy. They're inconvenient to wear every day. Today is a different time, a different rhythm of life. People's tastes have changed, which means that the design needs to be changed too. The names and meanings of many of the ornaments are based on associations with the animal world. For example, Koshkar Miyus, a ram's horn, symbolizes protection because the horns are very strong. Kazakhs often use this ornament in jewelry, clothing, and carpets. Koshkar Miyus, if stylized a little, can be brought to the world level. We are working on this so that this ornament sparkles with new colors today. The Kazakh floral ornament, unlike Koshkar Mius, personifies tenderness and warmth. Ornament Kazmoyun, gooseneck, is usually applied to a wedding ring, designed to show wedding rings in a new direction. This ornament looks harmonious when it is placed in length, one up to the other. By the way, Kazmoyun symbolizes infinity, love for life among Kazakhs. We tried to popularize this ornament with the help of our products. Our national jewelry art has its own canons that we must observe. For example, Kodari Jezuk, a ring for a mother-in-law, is decorated with a large stone and put on two fingers. This means a union, a close friendship of two related families. Kazakhs say, Koda Mangjildakh, once becoming related for a thousand years, that is, this is kind of a wish, let our ties never break. Kazakhs paid special attention to this. There is also such a symbolic ring as Otaujizek, which is presented to the bride. The guy does not need to tell his girlfriend anything, he can give it without words, and she would understand everything herself. Otau Jezuk is made in the form of pyramid, and there are many balls on its surface. Presenting the ring to the girl, a guy informs about his intention to marry her. Unfortunately, this tradition has been forgotten today. I want to remind people of it with my products. Shashbao. Today you will hardly ever meet a girl who wear this hair accessory. There are coins hanging on it, which make sound when moving. And in this way, girls learn to walk beautifully. If the girl is frivolous, too noisy, does not know how to move smoothly, then the shashbao makes unpleasantly loud sounds. The shashbao is a very nice, 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 nice
If Shashbal makes gentle, beautiful sounds, then the girl is well-mannered and stately. This is the aesthetic message that this decoration carries with it. By the way, our ancestors believe that thanks to Shashbal, a girl not only develops a beautiful gait, learns to keep her neck and back straight, but also gets thick, long hair. We make this decoration a little differently in our workshop. Our Shashbal is lighter in weight, and its style corresponds to the present time. When I voiced my choice to become a jeweler, some of my relatives dissuaded. Why are you doing this? You will be covered in dust, you will be dirty all the time, and all your life will be spent on collecting pieces of iron. It's better to master another thing. I believe that if one respects his profession, loves his job, success will not be long in coming. I learn a lot from foreign jewelers. They post videos showing the entire production process. It's very interesting to work with these people, to share opinions. Sometimes I ask them what equipment they use or how to organize the workshop better. When I opened my own workshop, it was difficult for me to find specialists. There are many who have learned jewelry. But for every ten of such people, only one remains in the profession. Why? Because they don't have good knowledge and skills. After reflecting on this, I decided to open my own training course. I took books published in Russia and taught from this textbooks. At first, I taught in a group. Now I teach only one student for a month. He is in the workshop among us, watching and taking his time studying. And in this way, we train people who are interested in this profession. Осы мамандықта қызығатын адамдарды оқытып үйретіретіміз. Осы карантин басталған кезде during lockdown, I bought a 3D course and learned how to sketch jewelry using a computer. The pandemic has certainly done a lot of damage to our economy, but for me personally it has become a period of reflection and inspiration. It gave impetus to the birth of new creations. I often get inspiration from peace and harmony. When a person's heart is serene, good ideas and thoughts come to his mind. And if he feels anxiety, he will not be able to work smoothly. I am a person who can admire many things. For example, when I see beautiful nature around me, I definitely stop, admire, and wonder. I admire the sunrise, the clouds floating in the sky. In general, such a state always gives me inspiration. When I get very tired, I take my camera and shoot whatever I like. Then I start drawing. For me, this is also kind of resource. Music also gives food for thought. Thanks to music, neural connections are activated in the human brain and logical functions are developing. Therefore, I try to play the dombra at least once a day after work.
despite his young age, the name of this talented designer is familiar to many Kazakhstan's connoisseurs today. Abzal Moldabek dreams that his works, made on national motifs, will receive world recognition.